more space, and an elevator. These two mundane features, which were not found in Bright Divinity School's Moore building, are now part of their new Harrison building. We were very cramped um, before in just a few classrooms. Bright Divinity School president, Newell Williams, said the school outgrew the space by the end of the 1960s and has since become worse. I mean, the faculty went from 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 to 16 to 20 to 22. Uh, student uh, uh, headcount, uh, you know, from uh, 60 to 100 to 200 to 300, just needed more space. The Bright Divinity School has been run out of one building, the Moore Building. But now, with the new addition of the Harrison Building, both students and faculty are better accommodated. Bright student Amanda Henderson said having different places to hold meetings, seminars, and conferences has been a huge improvement. Now we have a lot more um, rooms where we can spread out, where we can reconfigure the space to accommodate our uh, different styles of classes. Henderson said quite a few students are in wheelchairs and having an elevator provides better accessibility to classes. The expansion of Bright and the space to hold special events to reach out to the community allows more people to have exposure to the school than ever before. I know when I first came here as a student that I could feel the energy of the community at Bright, um, that it was a place that was really alive. And seeing a new building and um, really shows that this is a place that's growing. Williams said although they're just moving into the building, the enhanced opportunity for student community is already evident. Caressa Bateman, TCU News Now.